Hi, I'm Veronica Harris, host of Veronica Harris Show, and today I have a new co-host. Who are you? Vanessa Harris. Mm -mm. Who's your father? Gregory Harris, your brother. Yes, and my co-host, but he's not here today, so we have Vanessa filling in. And today we're going to be talking about the sport of golf. What sports do you play? I play basketball and volleyball. So those are team sports? Yes. This is more of an individual sport. Some people say that golf is one of the most frustrating sports you can play. <laughs> can you play it? I could try. You could try? Well, yes, you are going to try today because we're going to demonstrate a few things with our guests that we have here. So please stay tuned to the Veronica Hair Show and learn about the frustrating sport of golf. <laughs> ready? Yes. You ready? Okay. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. We're going to do this. Hey. 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 <laughs> golf. Okay. Welcome to the Veronica Harris Show, and today we are talking about golf. Vanessa, do you like golf? Yes. It's fun to play. I'm over here. It's fun to play. <laughs> it's fun to play. What do you like about it? I like when the ball goes far. Okay. Well, today our guest is Mr. Gary L. Burke, a golf instructor, and we have three young golfers with us here. We have Danielle, Jaden, and Jordan. So welcome to the show, everybody. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Okay. All right, so let's begin with you, Mr. Burke. Yeah. So golf, how did you, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, uh, my name is Gary Burke. I'm from the DMV area, literally all three parts. Um, born in DC, raised in Maryland, went to school in Virginia mm -hmm. at St. Stephen, St. Agnes High School. Went to the University of Maryland for a little bit. Uh, did IT for a numerous amount of years, and then after that, um, kind of made golf my prof uh, profession and been with it ever since. Okay, well, let's just get into that because we don't see too many of us yes. <laughs> on the golf course. Uh -huh. However, you know, times are changing. Yeah. So what got you into the sport of golf? Um, being exposed to going to a private school, being exposed to the game. Uh, a lot of the kids who are um, members at Bellhaven, Army, Navy, and Tiger Woods just came onto the scene. And I just remember seeing someone that looked like me and seeing the ball go far, seeing all the Nike mm -hmm. commercials. And I was like, man, I want to play that sport. And my parents were the type of parents that if you pick something up, you finished it all the way until you were 18. Okay. Um, so I, I'm forever grateful for um, them making sure that I stayed with it. But I started in fifth grade with Hook a Kid or Golf at Langston, which is a historically black golf course, and one of the few that we have. And I learned from there, and then and history is, there it is. Okay. So, okay, well, got to ask you since you're going, what's your handicap? <laughs> My handicap, I'm playing off a of four right now, but I'm currently. Is that good? Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it is good. I'm, I'm training right now to actually turn professional, actually play on the tour. But uh, nice. I thoroughly enjoy coaching the kids more, so I'm always torn. In between the two. So when you're training, because you have to get your card. Yes. And there's various. Uh -huh. Now you don't just get to the PGA tour. You have there's there's levels like there's yeah. the Q. Was it Q? It's uh, Q school. Q school. Yes. Q school. That's yes. qualifying where yes. you work. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So like you you start with local tournaments really, and then you move to, uh, move to Q school, and then you got to have some financial backing because mm -hmm. um, golf is not a cheap sport. No, it's not. And then um, just have the the mentality to stay hungry and and stay on the grind to keep your card because once you get it, you can't lose it. So it's it's that delicate balance of going to balance my family and mm -hmm. that, and then chasing the game that you love. But that's a that's part of the madness that I, I enjoy about it. But if you do well, it can be very financially rewarding. Yes, it can. <laughs> it, it definitely can. Um, the sponsorships, the ability to travel all over, just me, uh, just now, just traveling the country is enough, and I enjoy it. Um, Jaden was just mentioning uh, before we even got started that she likes to play different golf courses. Mm -hmm. So I go to Vegas every every January, and then I travel out throughout the country throughout you know throughout the year to try to play different places. So okay. I just I enjoy the travel to be honest with you. All right, well let's talk to some of our young golfers here. Vanessa, you want to take over? Would you like to introduce yourself, Danielle? What school you go to and how old you are and when you started playing golf? Um. My name is Danielle, and I started playing golf when I was like three. Three? Could you even, <laughs> was, the, was the club bigger than you or what? The club was maybe like up to my wa waist. Okay. And I go to the St. Stephen's and St. Agnes too. All right. 
And what do you like about golf? Why do you like playing golf? Because it's fun and I like hitting the ball. You like hitting the ball? Do you like walking all over? So you play all 18 holes? Mm, yes. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty good to have to walk 18 holes at such a young age. It's pretty good. What is your handicap? Scratch. Okay. All right, well, we all have to start somewhere. Would you like to introduce yourself, Jaden? Uh, hi, I'm Jaden. I started playing golf around six years old. Um, I like golf because it's a very calming sport. You're, there aren't people around you cheering you or yelling um, directions. It's a very calm, nice sport. So you like the niceness of the sport? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you wouldn't like uh, basketball with all the, you know, the yelling, the screaming, the back and forth it's, and all that? Just a lot. It's the big crowd, the loud. Not, I don't like the, um, I guess the energy is just too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the energy is too much. All right. Interesting. I've never had anybody say that. The energy is too much. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Continue, Vanessa. Jordan, would you like to introduce yourself? Like what school you go to and why do you like golf and why do you play it? My name is Jordan. Um, I go to Calvary Road Christian School. I like golf because I just like hitting the ball far and like hitting, like achieving goals, basically. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever get frustrated when you're out on the course? Sometimes when I just don't hit the ball. Sometimes, mm -hmm. a lot of times when I don't just hit the ball. All right. Jaden, what about you? Do you ever get frustrated when you, when things aren't going right on the course or? I, I do get frustrated um, whenever usually it, when either the ball goes out of bounds or I go over like a set goal, like over par, or um, if I double par, I <laughs> that's really like a moment when I get really frustrated if I double par because it's like, it's just, I think I make it worse than it is, but it's really bad for me. So how do you deal with that frustration? What are your coping skills? Think about the fact that I think about the better shots I've hit and that I know that I have the potential to be better, mm -hmm. but it might just not be the day. Or I think of ways I, I can fix it, ways that the tricks that Coach Burke has taught me and um, things that just stuck with me playing golf. So Jordan, do you think that golf has helped you with your academics? Yes, really much. Like I get more calm, like more, yeah, like more calm, and I'm not getting frustrated that much anymore. Oh, okay, good. Cause academics, I know I've been in some math classes <laughs> that have been quite frustrating. What about you, Vanessa? No, I don't get frustrated. I just get frustrated on how much work the teachers give us in the test, fifty question Vanessa, test, over here. <laughs> fifty question test, and more. Oh, okay. Part of homework. Okay. You know you're talking to a teacher, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so where do you, okay, so Danielle, you like golf, you started at age of three. Where do you see yourself going with the sport? Do you want to be a professional? Do you want to pay, play on the LPGA? Or you just want to just get good so you can just play for the rest, you know, for the rest of your life? I want to get good and just play for the rest of my life. Oh, okay. What about you, Jaden? I see it as, um... I wouldn't want to go pro. I wouldn't want to be a professional, but I see it as something that I would do for the rest of my life, like a lifelong sport. Oh, awesome, great, good for you. What about you? Uh, I would probably go pro, but not guaranteedly. So it will just be like when I retire um, for the sports I go to, I'll, I'll go to golf. Golf, golf. Right, and that's interesting because we've talked a lot off camera, but a lot of professional athletes do play golf. Yes. Like, they love golf, and I'm sure we can talk about some fans like Stephen Curry, he's yes. very good at golf. Mm -hmm. um, J.R. Smith, he loves to play golf. Yes. I don't know, I'm sure there's football players, but I haven't, I don't know. Aaron Rodgers, um, okay. Herschel Walker is one okay. of them, and Bo Jackson oh, is, right. is another. So Big uh, golf players. Yes, big golf players. 
And you would think that they, you know, because golf can be quite frustrating and it can, you know, kind of over, you know, get into your head right. that they would want to stay away, but they find it to be the most calming experience. Well, you, I mean, you look at it where you're learning a playbook for a football player. There's hundreds of plays in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you're taking the abuse on your body. Basketball, you're taking the wear and tear on your body. Mm -hmm. This is a one sport where the wear and tear is minimal. Mm -hmm. But it's really for the enjoyment factor of it. Mm -hmm. And like for us professional golfers, it's the frustrating part. But mm -hmm. we also do enjoy the sport. It is our relaxation when we're, you know, other things in life are going a little wonky. We can mm -hmm. go out there for four hours then everything melts away. And I think for those guys, when you spend so many years, 10, 15 years in the league and mm -hmm. up running and traded and doing all this, where well, you can just kind of sit there and just honestly look out on like some of the views that we see like i think for them it's just an enjoyment of going hey i'm not playing for a check anymore i'm actually just playing for fun yeah just for fun all right well let's talk about you know some of the opportunities that golf can afford a person mm -hmm. um as we know historically we weren't allowed on the golf courses no, not no, on no. many of them and i think that you know, being on a golf course, and it's interesting that none of them want to be professional, which is fine, mm -hmm. you know, but they just want to play. But being able to play golf opens up so many opportunities. Would you yeah. like to talk about those opportunities? Uh, those opportunities that I, I come in touch with those people all the time, which are just those folks who actually want to just progress in life. Um, just want to take advantage of being out there and, and just playing something that was just taken away from us that we were going to be good at. Um, so for them not to want to play professional, I'm totally okay with that. I would want them to excel in other things. We, we live by three things, staying hungry, staying humble, staying focused. And those are all the attributes that we had growing up, all the things that we, we made those changes in society by doing those three things. By staying and humble, staying hungry, hungry and staying focused. So if I can impart that on them, then I've done the proper job because they're going to get into situations where doors are not going to be open and i expect for them to kick the door down not to just kind of sit there and go okay well uh, you know i'll go take the back route i want them to to act as if they belong there to know it as if they belong there and that's what golf does like it puts you in a position especially for minorities to be around people that don't expect you to be there they're always going to inquire why you're there mm -hmm. but at this point it should be okay you should be here and tell me your story and, and let me get to know you better. So it's like using golf to break down those social barriers um, and kind of widen the world to what the society has shown us from the love and hip hops to I want you to kind of tune into what these guys have to exactly. offer. Exactly, because a lot of businesses conducted on the golf course. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, a I, lot of business, a lot of deals. I, I would say a lot, of, a lot of hirings, firings yes. sometimes. Firings, uh, if you beat the boss, I would oh, say yeah. if Never you beat, beat the, the boss. boss. Never beat the boss. Never beat the but um, I mean, a lot of opportunities came my way just by being in the right place. I know some guys for the IRS now. You know, it, I just talk to them and they're like, "Hey, well, your nonprofit can start by filling out these forms or by doing this." I would have never known that had I not been out there that day. Or, you know, some people are realtors or some people, you know, work like one guy I think ends up working with my mom for like the ATF. Like you end up meeting people that you wouldn't normally meet on, on a normal day and actually make, making those lifelong connections. Well, one of the guys that I actually called my brother doesn't look like me at all, but can come over and eat with moms doing Thanksgiving and stuff. But we, we meet those different types of people. Other than that, I would have never met him. Well, that is awesome. Well, we have to stop right now, and we're going to take a break. But when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, the fitness yeah. behind and the academics behind yes. it all. Yes. So stay right with us, and we will be back. Hey, Mom and Dad. There's a way to let your kids have fun. And learn a skill that could save their life. That's how we got started. That's right. My parents wanted me to feel safer around the water. Oh. These big kids know. Swimming is fun. But safety, that's serious. Studies show that formal swim lessons reduce the risk of childhood drowning by 88%. And it's so easy to enroll. We have nearly a 1,000 local partners and communities like yours who can't wait to help. Join us today. Go to USAswimmingfoundation.org. 
and click on the Find Swim Lessons link. It can open up amazing possibilities. I learned how to swim. Well done. Well done. The USA Swimming Foundation, saving lives and building champions. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy, so we show them how, and we tell them, with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids need to know the dangers and how to avoid them. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids, because when you talk, they hear you. So what we're going to do is uh, we have this, uh, with golf we have a lot of training aids, okay? So this is one of the training aids that I've used for them. This is called uh, Tempo and Grip Trainer, okay? So what we want to do, I'll actually show, uh, demonstrate with you here. In your left hand, we want to get that actually right here with this part being right in between the crease. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to, oh, there okay. you oh. go. All right. All right. And get that in the fingers. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to take that right hand. Okay. And put that right in between there and let that first finger stay right there. Like so? There you go. And that is the golf grip right there. Okay. <laughs> so what a lot of people don't realize about the game of golf, there's mm -hmm. very uh, simple fundamentals that we like to follow, which are, uh, we, we should know this by now, grip, mm. alignment, was S and P stance <laughs> and posture? All right, it's, it's been no, it's been a minute since they've been there. She's been doing a PGA League um, oh, during the league, so uh, she's been working hard. So grip, alignment, stance, and posture are the four things that we want to uh, maintain. So I'm gonna have you actually step up here, okay? So for our our stance, we want our feet shoulder width apart. Now this is the typical athletic stance, no matter what sport you do. Thank you, yes, so that's very vital. So when I'm teaching, I like to ask, what, what, what have you done before? Mm -hmm. So if you've done football, basketball, volleyball, I don't care what it is, you've done some type of athletic, mm -hmm. where um, you've done some type of sport where you've had to get a strong base. Right. Or you know, I'm like, if you've done any type of uh, training of any sort, I'm like, do you take a jump with your leg straight? And most people are like, no, okay? okay? So I was like, bend your knees a little bit, okay? And you're gonna spread your feet to shoulder width apart to mm -hmm. keep balance, okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, the way your arms are actually hanging right here, mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean a little forward and let your arms really hang right there. We're gonna lift up just a little bit. Perfect, keep lifting a little bit, nice. Okay. Put a slight bend in our knees. Okay. Wonderful. And just put this right here. Okay. And chin up. And okay. There's <laughs> the golf chin grip. up. Oh my goodness. There, there's the golf grip right there. Wow. 
So this is your posture. This is your stance. Okay. Now the actual motion of the swing, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't realize how athletic this swing is and how powerful and dynamic it is. We want to use our hips to turn, okay? You always say the hips. Everything right, is Right, it's hips. all in the hips, all okay? In the hips. How many times y'all heard me say that? Use your Not hips, here. hips, 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 okay? So we're going to turn our hips back 45 degrees, okay? That's the best angle, geometry. There you go, okay. 45 degrees, uh -huh. okay? Wonderful. Right? Yes, that is correct, okay? All right, now, from this point, I'm uh -huh. actually going to have you slide this way a little bit. Good, okay, <laughs> right there. All right, stay nice and centered. Uh -huh. Left arm straight. And then what we're going to do is set our wrist oh, okay. and turn just like that. Okay? Oh, that is your golf I'm swing. My, back, my lower back. <laughs> there it is. All right. So that's why we kind of use our legs. All mm -hmm. right. So now from this position, uh -huh. what do you think you need to do to kind of get that force generating towards that direction? Turn those hips. There you go. Now we're going to turn those hips, open them up towards here and turn here and go around. But that's more baseball, right? Oh, okay. We're going to reverse it. So I'm going to have Jaden actually come yes, out and just show you real fast. All right. <laughs> so that's just the, that's the basic of the swing, okay? So what Jaden is going to show you, all right? Now, she has, when she said natural athlete at this sport, kid you not, I've never seen uh, many players actually have a natural swing the way she does. So as she turns, you see she has oh, that okay. position. Yes. Great turn there. She maintains a uh, spine angle, mm -hmm. okay? That's important. And then she slams that foot down, swings through, and turns. And you see how she has her weight on this front foot. Mm -hmm. The waist is towards the target, chest is towards the target, and she's looking down line. Wow. So this is what we call a textbook swing right here. Very good. She's perfect at that. And then I'm going to have Danielle. I want you to do your swing, too. Why don't we move over here and let's okay. have Danielle try What I love about Danielle's swing, and I'm going to have you scoot down, so because okay, we'll she, she's down. a hurricane, okay? Okay. <laughs> I want you to like, swing 50%, okay? But what she does, go ahead and take your swing. One, all right? And then I want you to swing through. Look at that ball. Keep going, keep turning, keep turning. Remember, stick the pose, okay? I need you to stick the pose. And turn and swing through, come on. And that's what she does, so she does well, wow. okay? So she holds that pose very well. Then we have Jordan, okay? Now Jordan is like the newest out of our group. They've been coming to me for a little while. The Jordan is one of the newest ones, but first thing I had Jordan do, I had him start with chipping, okay? So Jordan is doing this setup, okay? He's about to take his take your backswing, okay? That's a good position right there. That is very perfect. Ooh, now I want you to hit your follow through. Go ahead, do your downswing, all right? He turns through. There you go. All right. Now you can look down the range. Okay. That is awesome. Now I noticed mm -hmm. when you were instructed, uh -huh. you instructed, you gave a lot of instru instruction. A lot yes. Of instruction about, uh -huh. And you referred to your spine, the mm -hmm. hips, to this, to that. So there's a lot of anatomy. Yes, there <laughs> is. There is. Uh, with golf, you need to know what part is hurting you, mm -hmm. so we can know which part which to fix. Right. So you said your lower back, right? right? So from that point, when you're doing your swing, there's a lot of tension. Right. I would kind of want you to feel as if you're loosely mm -hmm. turning. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you're going to turn hard, but use your legs to actually turn oh, through okay. rather than your lower back. Okay. But the first thing most people do is they turn and they, use the back. And they pull down with their back. So oh. I'm the one that looks at them, remedies all those situations. So from things. a fitness level, what does a person, I guess, core is really important. Yeah, yeah, I see yours is pretty tight. Core, what about you, Greg? Legs. <laughs> he, he's got it. He's he got, got it. it. He um, got it. The, definitely the, the base. Right. The Having base. a strong base is, is very is very vital. Right. It's starting the, the swing is from the ground up, not right. from top down. It's from the ground up. And isn't that the way it is with all, like, just about every sport? Yes. It's from the Jump ground. shot. Yes. From there, That's baseball. You lift the foot. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with football. If you're going to tackle, what are you using? You're using your legs. You're not using anything else. Right. So the the interdisciplinary, like, uh, the, the mechanics are just so, like, crossover with the other sports. It is. So, yeah. So, and we can talk a lot about that, but yes. I want to get quickly into the academics of, yes. because you have to be, you have to be smart to play because there's a lot of things you have to think about because we talked about the 45 degree angle, so geometry, there's mm -hmm. a lot of physics involved. Yes. Uh -huh. Math, calculations. Right. 
even the figuring out the score, I would have a hard time. <laughs> uh, a lot of people do. A lot okay. of people, all of a sudden, the arithmetic is a little off yeah. when it comes time to the count. Uh -huh. You know, all of a sudden, they, they miss a stroke right. or two, and then their score is a little bit lower. Right. Um, we keep ours honest uh, at Fresh and Fitted Golf, but um, there is a lot of physics and, and, and an academic part about it. It's um, We talk about uh, reading the angles on a putt. Okay, so we have this is like a putting mat is here. Is that where I can get down? Right. Like so yes. No, so they're reading. I'm checking it out. <laughs> they're reading different breaks in the green. They're looking to see if the grass is Poana versus Bermuda versus another type of grass is out there. Oh, you got no botany. <laughs> yeah. To to make sure. So the young man we were speaking about earlier, for him being a greenskeeper, right. that's very that's important. Yeah, so the <laughs> he, he's the one that puts the pin positions in places where us professional golfers don't particularly like. Mm -hmm. um, but you, you got to know all those things. You got to know the, the elevation, how the ball flies in uh, West Virginia versus down south uh, versus out west. So you got to know your geography? Yes, like, you got to know happens everything. In West Virginia versus yes. out in Pebble Beach? Yes. Oh, oh good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, but we want to show... Mm -hmm. I can know. Okay, so we want to show about some chipping. Yes. All right, Gregory, All right. you want to show about some chipping? Can can Gregory show, and then we can have sure. other people. Sure. So come in? Um, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, Greg do this real fast. So he's gonna use my pitching wedge. Okay. Um, I know you can can kind of control this a little bit better than we can. Okay. So what he's gonna do? I'm gonna give him a little instruction here. He's gonna take his setup. And what's important about chipping is that there's momentum in chipping. We want to make sure that we continue through the shot rather than stopping. It's a golf swing, not a golf hit. Okay, so he's going to move his feet in a little bit closer together. Okay, to each other. Okay, and then back up from the ball ever so slightly. Wonderful. Okay, and what we're going to notice is that when he takes his swing back, he's going to move all in one piece here and then move all in one piece through the shot to right around there there's going to be a triangle that he maintains almost like a fulcrum okay so he's going to hit this shot right now okay wonderful 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 let's do another one all right that is perfect okay if this was at a, like a super super big uh venue he would get roars for knocking that down okay let's do that again get up in there nice ah almost almost so what he did on the second one, what he didn't do on the first one was he kept everything straight. So what I'm going to have him do now, right, I'm going to have him maintain that turn here, one and then two. Okay, let's do that. Beautiful. And that's how you chip. Wow. So you see the different result right there. You Good job. Give, you there me, you go. You got to get a fist bump. You going to give me your fist thing? There you go. Way <laughs> to go. All right. Awesome. Well, we are, believe it or not, we are like out of time. Mm -hmm. But thank you. Could I have no my problem, golfers? Guys, Can in. I have my golfers come in? Yes. Golfers come in. Well, I would like to say, first of all, face this way. Okay, so I'd like to say, first of all, thank you, Miss Danielle Hurricane. I'm sorry calling you Hurricane. Yeah. Okay, you the Hurricane. All right, and Jaden, um, your swing is beautiful. Thank you. It is very so beautiful. And Jordan, awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah. Gregory, thank you for sliding in here at the last minute. Vanessa, co host. All right, and Mr. Burke, thank you. You're a great teacher. Thank you. You are a great teacher. Math, science, STEM, you, you, you got it. You got it. So I'd like to thank everybody for being here today on the Veronica Harris Show. And next time, we hope to see you out. Did they call it the links or the course? We can go either one. Okay, we hope to see you out there on the links. And if you can't make the links, you know, there's other places. What are you doing? <laughs> we'll see you all next time on the Veronica Harris Show.